let's look at this set. Telomia Incorporated manufactures and sells four different types of products. Pens, pencils, markers, and sketch pens for rupees 30, 10, 40, and 25 per unit respectively. Respectively is a wonderful word. We rarely ever hear this in DILR. But here we have it. We have the precise selling prices for these four items. It costs the company rupees 10, rupees 6, rupees 25, and rupees 20 per unit respectively to manufacture each type of product. This is also great. We also have the CP of the individual products mentioned to us. Then we have the total revenue of the company is calculated as the sum of the products of price per unit and number of units sold of each type. Okay, standard definition, nothing to interpret. The total cost of the company is calculated as sum of the products of cost per unit and the number of units sold of each type. Again, standard definition of cost, nothing to interpret. Finally, the profit percentage of the company is calculated as profit of the company as percentage of the total cost of the company. Also standard definition. So there is nothing to interpret here. The initial part of the set is only for information transfer. Okay, pens, pencil, marker, and sketch pens. We have SP, we have CP, and therefore we have profit per unit. So we have 30 and 10, we have 10 and 6, we have 40 and 25, and we have 25 and 20. Therefore, profit per unit is 20 and 4 and 15 and 5. And one additional parameter that I'm writing is units. A, B, C, and D. This is something we know. Let us get to individual questions. If during a particular year, the number of units of pens, pencils, markers, and sketch pens sold by Telomia Incorporated are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4. So they're telling us A is to B is to C is to D is 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4. What is the profit percentage of the company for this year? All we have to do is replace ABCD with 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we can calculate profit percentage. So profit for this year will be 1 into 20, 2 into 4, 8, 3 into 15, 45, and 4 into 5, 20. This is the total profit. Total cost would be 1 into 10, plus 2 into 6, plus 3 into 25, plus 4 into 20. This we need as per in percentage terms. First, this becomes 93 by 177, which translates to 31 by 59. I can cancel the numerator and denominator by 3. Now, I can calculate the precise percentage and get to the answer. Or, hopefully you can see, I can break this down as 29.5 by 59 plus 1.5 by 59. This here clearly is 50%. And this is equal to 3 by 180. Or this has to be less than 3%. So my answer has to be somewhere in the range 50 to 53. And among the available options, the only one that fits is option C. That should be the answer. That takes care of the first question. Let us get to the working for the second question. Second one says... If during a particular year, the revenues of Telomia incorporated from sales of pens, pencils, markers, and sketch pens were in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 4 is to 5. Understand, revenue was generated by SP into number of units. So, pens is to pencils, revenue would be given by 30A by 10B. And we are told in the question that is equal to 1 by 2. So, A by B is equal to 1 by 6. Similarly, for pens to markers, ratio would begin by 30A by 40C. And this is told to us as 1 by 4. Or A by C is equal to 1 by 3. And finally, pens to sketch pens, we have 30A by 25D is equal to 1 by 5. 6, 5, cancelled. So this gives me A by D is equal to 1 by 6. So number of units sold, number of units sold can be written down as 1, 6, 3, 6. We have the number of units sold. So now, when the question demands of me, 
what is the profit percentage of Telomi Incorporated for this year? You have to do the same thing we did for the last question. We have the number of units. Profit per unit. It will be 20 plus 24 plus 45 plus 30. These will be the total profits and costs will be 10 plus 36 plus 75 plus 120. So this will come out to be 44 plus 45. 44 plus 45 is 189. 89 plus 30 is 119. And denominator would be 120 plus 75 is 195. 195 plus 10 is 205. 205 plus 36 is 241. Okay, we've got this. Again, I can calculate the precise percentage or I can break this down as 119 120.5 by 241 minus 1.5 by 241. And therefore, now I will have <clears throat> this is 50% minus this I can write as 3 by 482, which would mean this is less than 1%. 50 minus one, less than 1%. One my answer has to be in the range 49 to 50. If my answer has to be in the range 49 to 50, the only one that fits the bill is option A. That should be the answer. They're done. Okay. Next question. If during a particular year, the number of units of pens, pencils, and markers sold by Telomia Incorporated, so only the first three, oh, we have to also get rid of this. Pen, pencils, and markers sold by Telomia Incorporated are in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5. So 1, 3, and 5. And the company made a profit percentage of 35%. What is the ratio of the number of sketch pens sold to the number of markers sold? Number of sketch pens sold to markers sold. Finally, we need our answer as D by 5. This is the answer that we are seeking. Now, we told the profit percentage is 35%. Let We know how to calculate profit percentage. It would be 20 plus 12 plus 75 plus 5D by the cost, which is 10 plus 18 plus 125 plus 20D. And we are told this is 35%. 35% in fractional terms is 7 by 20. So this is what we are dealing with. We have to solve for D. Whatever value for D we get. We finally need D by 5. Okay. So we have 75 plus 12, 87. 87 plus 20 is 107. Plus 5D. Upon 28 plus 125, 153. Plus 20D. And this is equal to 7 by 20, we cross multiply, we get 2140 plus 100D is equal to 153. So 1050 plus 21, 1071D plus 140, 1071 plus 140D or 40D will be equal to 2140 minus 1071 or 40D is equal to 1069 or D is equal to 1069 by 40. But remember, we did not really need the value of D. We needed the value of D by 5. So the final number that we are seeking is 1069 by 200. 1069 by 200. And for this, we know the value has to be greater than 5 but less than 6. Among the available options, the only one that fits the bill is option D. If you want, you can also go ahead and do the precise calculation. You will get the same result, 5.345. But then within this range, there is just one number in the options. That should be the answer. A point of clarification here. Nobody is claiming, nobody is claiming that the number of sketch pens sold will be 1069 divided by 40. Because this is, of course, going to be in decimals. This is, of course, going to be in decimals. Understand what we were given here were ratio numbers. What we were given here were ratio numbers. So if I reduced whatever number of pens were being sold to precisely one, the number of pencils sold would be precisely three, the number of markers sold would be precisely five, and number of sketch pens sold would be 
So let's say if I multiplied everything with 40, if I multiplied everything with 40, this will turn to 40. This will turn to, uh, let's say, 120. And this will turn to 200. And now the number of pens sold would be 1069. Now the number of pens sold would be 1069. Again, if you are looking for ratio of Ds to see, it would be 1069 by 200. The answer will remain the same. It is just that because instead of worrying about the ratio numbers, instead of worrying about the ratio numbers, I am directly dealing with, instead of worrying about the actual numbers, I am directly dealing with ratio numbers. Therefore, we end up with a number which is not in integer shape here, but that is fine because finally a ratio has been asked, not the precise count. And that is all for this question. Let me get rid of all this writing. Now, let's look at question four. During a particular year, the total revenue of Telomia Incorporated was rupees 21 million. And Telomia Incorporated sold an equal number of pens, pencils, markers, and sketch pens. What is the total number of markers that Telomia sold? Okay. Now see if number of units sold for each item is same. Everything is a so revenue generated will be 30A plus 10A plus 40A plus 25A. And this has been told to us equal to rupees 21 million. So 21 into 10 raised to the power 6 or 105A is equal to 21 into 1 followed by six zeros so i cancel i cancel i get five i cancel i cancel i get two followed by five zeros number of units of each type sold is two lakh and the question asked me total number of markers that telomia incorporated sold so if it is same number of units everywhere if a is two lakh the answer to the last question is also two lakh and that is the entirety of this set. This is one of those simpler sets in which you don't really have to do a lot of calculation. But even within this, you can reduce your time if you are mindful of the options that are present in front of you. That will be all for this. Mm -hmm.